minutes. This is Bill, H.R. 1259, the Helping Expand Lending Practices in Rural Communities Act. Um, it's an important bill, uh, but I would like to say that uh, on this issue of helping our community banks in rural areas, I would like to thank um, the gentleman for um, you know, providing some leadership, but I would also like to thank Mr. Hinojosa, who has really done a fantastic job of educating uh, this committee about the problems that community banks in rural communities face. Uh, I remain committed to finding ways to ensure that regulators tailor their approach to community banks, particularly those operating in rural areas. I support regu regulator efforts to calibrate their approach to the unique challenges and concerns of community banks and small credit unions in rural areas. The CFPB shares my concerns, and they have been responsive to issues raised by the industry in response to the Bureau's previous round of designations of rural areas. On January 29, 2015, the CFPB announced a proposal that would expand the definition of rural by adding census blocks that are not in an urban area as defined by the Census Bureau. Given the steps that the CFPB have already taken, the issue that this proposal uh, was originally intended to address certainly again has been addressed by the January 2015 proposal. In designating census blocks that are not considered urban by the Census Bureau as rural, the CFPB's proposal more than adequately addresses any areas that were missed in CFPB's original round of designations. This again is a modest proposal that does not undermine the Bureau or disrupt its core operations, while arguably unnecessary in light of the Bureau's uh, January proposal, this is not an attempt to undermine the Bureau's autonomy or structure. Let me just repeat, this is the second issue that we have heard today where the Bureau has already acted. And it is important for me to point that out because the CFPB is under such attack uh, from my friends on the opposite side of the aisle, constantly uh, indicating that somehow they don't listen uh, to their constituents, they are not concerned about community banks, on and on these accusations go. But whenever uh, we have or our constituents have worked with the Bureau to correct these kinds of problems. The Bureau has been extremely responsive. And so I'd like to just take this moment to give credit to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau for not only listening but acting. And so again, I don't mind if we're going to add a little bit more time and effort um, in some way by, you know, uh, bringing forth bills that where the, the Bureau has already acted because we, we want to show our cooperation. We want to show that we understand how concerned people may be about uh, some of these issues. And so I am going to urge my colleagues to certainly support this, but let us, let us also at this very moment recognize that the CFPB uh, is responsive, has demonstrated uh, that it is responsive, have acted on some of these issues. And again, um, we are going to support this, but um, uh, it is not absolutely necessary. I yield back the balance of my time. General Lady yields back. For what purpose does gentleman from Arkansas seek recognition? Move to strike the last word. Gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to echo my support for uh, Mr. Barr and Mr. Hinojosa's bill. This is an excellent bill, and it allows me to uh, talk a minute about uh, rural banking. Uh, I've just uh, completed service as the chief executive of a community bank that uh, operated in rural areas, including a county at 11,335 uh, people in uh, southeast Arkansas and the Arkansas Delta. And rural banks really do uh, fight uh, uh, provisions like this to, that try to find common sense, and I appreciate uh, Mr. Barr's efforts and the CFPB's efforts. But I want to echo that there are other things that uh, hurt uh, rural bankers uh, post-Katrina FEMA maps on uh, the changes in our flood zones are really a detriment to uh, an expense to consumers and residential lending. Uh, the Federal Reserve's uh, interpretation of uh, 
Hart Scott Rodino on what is competitive in a Herfindahl index on bank mergers in rural areas are very much hurt by this same kind of, uh, of one-size-fits-all approach like a county or a census tract. And also the appraisal regulations uh, in banking are very damaging in rural areas as they have gotten more complex from Fiducia to Dodd-Frank. They hurt the ability of banks operating in a non-suburban or non-urban area from finding comparables, and that, too, limits residential lending and residential construction in rural areas. So while I support uh, Mr. Barr and Mr. Hinojosa's efforts, there, are, there is more to be done uh, to protect our uh, community banking out in rural areas of the country, and I yield back the balance. Will the gentleman yield? Yes, I will yield. Uh, I would like to thank you for your comments. Um, Many of us here are concerned not only about the rural areas and community banks, we are concerned about mapping with FEMA also. And so, uh, as you may not know it, but we are going to invite you to participate in a bipartisan effort that we are putting together to take a real deep look at FEMA and what we need to do uh, to deal with the problems of mapping and other kinds of problems that we have recognized that caused us to be in a situation where we had to correct some of the intent unintended consequences of the Bigot Waters Bill and try and do everything that we could to reduce those premiums. So I like what you are saying. I agree with you. And we want you to work with us, and we are going to work with you. I yield back the time to the gentleman. I thank the, uh